Uh, you know, he was tricking up money. She's in the passenger seat of my Rolls Royce Ferrari. And you know, I mean, really? Really? I think I can speak oh boy, for the table and <laughs> well, I think we, I can we speak for go. the table and say, <laughs> we are so happy that you are here. You have been through a lot of public drama this year, and we have been rooting for yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, pulled out my spray paint. <laughs> and I spray painted Kevin and Wendy forever. And to this day, it still is forever. Wendy Williams is not going to be taken advantage of by her ex-husband and his current lover. Kevin Hunter is distressed and broke now that alimony is not being paid. If they believe they can live off of her, they should pack their belongings and go for another person to smooch off of because she's not having any of it. She had worked hard for her money, and you can bet she was already charitable enough to assist her ex. They should not, of course, ask for more. What will happen to them now that Wendy's program has been cancelled and she's out of work? Wendy Williams is one of the most successful and well-known talk show hosts. No one hasn't heard of her. With her celebrity comes a lot of money, and of course, people who follow her solely for the money are just following the trail. She probably didn't expect her husband to be one of those people since who would do that? Well, Kevin. <laughs> Wendy has been married to Kevin Hunter for over two decades. For years, their names were exclusively associated with each other because Wendy was a celebrity and Kevin was her personal assistant. He was her manager as well as the producer of Wendy Williams' show. They were a match made in heaven, and by the year 2000, they had welcomed their son Kevin Hunter Jr. Everyone had no idea what was going on behind the camera. Kevin, as previously said, served as a producer for Wendy on several of her projects, including the biography Queen of Media and the TV docuseries The Wendy Williams Project. Assumed that if they divorced, he would be dismissed from all his positions, which is exactly what happened. Wendy had the looks, the career, and the money. What more could her husband want for? He could literally just sit back and relax with all of her money, but he had to utilize it for the wrong reasons. Kevin, according to Wendy, is a serial cheater. Evidently, she was aware of his relationship nearly from the beginning of their relationship, including before they married. Despite this, she claims she has no regrets about putting up with him for the past 25 years. That's what unconditional love looks like, I suppose, but it couldn't be us. Kevin truly messed up Wendy, and he still expects her to back him up. This is what he did. Kevin, being the multitasking lover that he is, would spend Wendy's money on his mistresses. That's her hard-earned money, sweat, and tears, all squandered on other women because her ex thought he was entitled to it. Wendy was well aware that her ex-husband used the funds to wine and dine his other business associates. Apparently, there was another female to whom Kevin was somewhat loyal, Sharita Hudson, his mistress for years, probably since 2007. Wendy didn't even blink when she learned about this massive relationship. Kevin had bought Sharina a house just nine miles away from his and Wendy's comfortable home. She didn't mind as long as they didn't have a child. They unexpectedly had a daughter. That was the final straw for the TV program presenter, and she filed for divorce in 2019, although she hadn't seen him since. She refused to play stepmother to Kevin and Sharina's love kid. If they spent Wendy's money when they were dating, they'd find a way to spend it now that she and Kevin are divorced. The news comes as images of Kevin and his mistress Sharina Hudson on vacation surface on the internet. Following that, reports began to circulate that she had already given birth to a baby girl. Kevin Hunter then apologized publicly to Wendy while neither admitting nor denying that he is the child's father. I am not proud of my recent actions and take full accountability and apologize to my wife, my family, and her amazing fans, Kevin said in a statement. I am going through a time of self-reflection and am trying to right some wrongs. He clearly only stayed with Wendy because he needed money to thrive in Hollywood. He said it was an amicable divorce, the quickest in Hollywood history, but we suspect Wendy just wanted out. Kevin Hunter wants to be paid for alimony and child support, which cannot be done because their child is no longer a minor. The more he found ways to get Wendy's money, the funnier it became. Unfortunately, Wendy fell for it and decided to give him some money simply to keep his life and that of his new children going. She would offer money as long as she had the Wendy Williams program or another project lined up with the same salary. Don't you think she's being overly generous? We assumed she was just making a fool of herself, but it turned out to be the most brilliant idea she had ever had. For a few months, the alimony would enable Sharina to start new businesses that would never last, and Kevin would be able to support his family even though he was unemployed. Wendy does not need to pay alimony now that her program is ended and she is unemployed. She was essentially an unemployed billionaire by that point, and Kevin and Sharina returned to plead on their knees. Wendy Williams was rarely seen on air during the final season of her show. She had to depart for a while due to several illnesses, which forced the difficult choice to cancel the concert. Wendy has struggled with a variety of health issues and has lost financial control. 
this did not prevent her ex-husband from contesting the end of the alimony money. Kevin Hunter claims that he cannot afford basic necessities such as auto insurance and monthly bills without her financial assistance. But isn't this Wendy's problem? The stipend provided him with a wealthy lifestyle that included lavish property, homeowner fees, luxurious automobiles, and the potential care for his mistress turned fiancé and illegitimate child father during the marriage. He has now requested that his alimony payments be reinstated. He wants them to order Wendy's guardian to pay as contractually required under the MSA and severance agreement. This is due to him being behind on his bills, particularly payments to the homeowners association, which can lead to foreclosure. The father of two said that he needs hip surgery, which he cannot pay without insurance, and that he suffers from everyday discomfort as a result of his lack of care. Kevin can't blame Wendy for anything, for being manipulated and outwitted since they struck a pact when they divorced. According to their marital settlement agreement, if Wendy lost her job, she would no longer be obligated to pay alimony to Hunter, and all payments would stop. As of October 2021, the chat program for which she became famous has been discontinued, with no anticipated renewal date. According to court filings, Kevin Hunter's monthly alimony payments will expire in February 2022. That means Wendy has continued paying alimony even though she has been unemployed for a few months. She is giving him way too much leeway. Kevin wants to split everything with Wendy since he claims to be the reason the show became big and the brains behind it. He even had the arrogance to credit the show's success to his lover, despite the fact that his ex-wife's name is practically on the title. Wendy's devoted followers aren't going to put up with this, especially since she's ill. After cheating on her and destroying their marriage, he begs for more money as if doing so were akin to kicking her with dirt. In the words of her devoted followers, the fact that she had to pay him anything at all is beyond me when he cheated and had a baby on her. They definitely didn't add infidelity on a prenup. Kevin is a sorry excuse of a man. It's really sad that he is ashamed of begging his ex for her money. He's ridiculous, and Wendy has always said she's smart and she's a thinker and planner. So, this should come as no surprise that she thought this out so well. It would appear that nobody believes Kevin and Sharina. He's making a complete fool of himself. If he's so smart, why doesn't he just get a job and pay for his own stuff instead of expecting Wendy to foot the bill? Even if he takes this case to court again, we doubt he will prevail. Before starting over with a new woman, he should have read the divorce papers. Keep in mind that not all of this is proven fact but rather based on theories and opinions. As for now, that's all there is. Your attention is greatly appreciated.